Okay, now imagine that here I need to add buttons so the multiplexer can read both digital and analog pins the same multiplexer okay I'm going to remove a module here replace it here okay we need to just check that we are correctly installing our module the positive and negative pins are these two and they will go there okay As you can see, they are correctly installed. Let's put screws on it. Okay. Connect the Tinsy. Okay, this program already has the MOOCs from the previous program on pin enable 17, the data pins are 9, 10, 11 and 12 and instead of initializing the multiplexer on the setup function we won't use this here and we will use it before cycling the multiplexer addresses okay the first addresses are analog and that is because we are using this command here to declare that from now on we will read analog signals the next addresses are digital okay and here we don't need to use the analog and instead of a1 let's put the digital pin number it's the 16 and starts in 4 and if it's less than 8 and for the rest the rest we will come back to analog and starts in 8 and if it's less than 16 as you can see we are going through each one of the multiplexer address from 0 to 3 it's analog printed F from 4 to 8 they are digital and then they are analog again okay nothing is happening oh the buttons are there but not the potentiometers and that is because pin 17 16 a 0 1 a 2 okay it's the a2 and not the a1 a2 upload it and on the first four addresses we have four analog inputs then we have the button inputs and all the others are analog inputs again as you can see it's quite easy to work with and again this is the same for the Arduino we are using Tinsy 
but Arduino users, this is the same if you prefer to use an Arduino. Okay guys, hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, just drop us a line in the comments below. See you next time.